All right, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're glad to be on. Praise God. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Come on in. Come on in. Hey, Sister Buckner, bless you. Bless you. Come on in. Let everybody know we're on the air. Bless you. Bless you. All right. All right. We are live and on the air. Come on in. Come on in for Wow Word on Wednesday. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. All right. Sister Frankie Bowie, I think I see you there. Bless you, woman of God. Amen. Glad to see you on, Sister Frankie. Bless you. Bless you, our dear friend, the woman of God. Amen. Welcome to our word on Wednesday. Praise the Lord. Hope everybody's had a great day, a blessed day. Amen. And uh, we thank God for the word of God. I'm excited tonight. It's time to get into the word. Praise the Lord. And uh, I hope that uh, you are in expectancy to receive a word from the Lord on tonight. Praise God. Praise God. All right, we're going to get started. We know uh, 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 people are coming on in, and uh, as they come on in, uh, like and share us uh, with your pages, and uh, let your friends know we're on tonight, and uh, we're getting ready to get started. All right, praise the Lord. Um, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day, your love and kindness, your tender mercy. We thank you for this time of Bible study. Holy Spirit, we ask that you take over, uh, give us precision of speech and clarity and thought, and you lead the way, navigate this word, direct us in the word of God, give life, strength, and hope, and peace, and bless those hearers to receive it in their heart. Let it become strength in the name of Jesus and supernatural might in their life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. All right, praise the Lord. We're dealing with faith to love, faith to love. And uh, we know that uh, we're dealing with some chaotic times. And uh, we know that uh, during this uh, last few weeks uh, with the uh, 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 case uh, that we've seen uh, in Minnesota, praise the Lord, that... Uh, uh, we've been dealing with some difficult times. We've been dealing with some uh, uh, stressful times, challenging times. Praise the Lord. Bless you, First Lady Searles. Glad you're on. Uh, but God is God. And in the midst of all of it, uh, God is yet on the throne. And uh, what we, the church, we are the church. We're the people of God. The Bible calls us the salt of the earth. And it says, if the salt loses its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and trodden underfoot of men. So uh, we are the light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hid. All right. You're the salt of the earth and the light of the world. So we, we have a role, praise the Lord, and we have a job to do. All right. And what we have to do is show the love of Jesus Christ to a dying world, even when uh, chaotic situations happen, like what we're dealing with now. Hey, Brother Bradley, good to see you on. Uh, good, good to see you on, Brother Bradley. Praise God for you. Uh, so uh, we have to just love, even in spite of difficulty. So we're, we're talking about faith to love. It takes faith to love in certain times. Um, I don't care what nobody says, uh, we're people of God, we're saved and Holy Ghost filled, but in some instances, it is not easy to show love all the time. So we have to have faith to love, praise the Lord. So we're going to go to the word of God and let's go to Galatians chapter five, verse six, Galatians chapter five, verse six. Uh, I was in prayer today and the Lord gave me this message and gave me to talk about this because um, we, we really have to turn the tide. We really have to flip the switch. The pendulum has to swing back the other way. I know we're all hurt and our hearts are broken about 
uh, uh, Floyd's uh, uh, murder and all of what has happened. Um, it's very, very tragic. And I know that we as a nation have been hurting and God is certainly on the throne working this situation out. But what God wants to do is work it out in our hearts, okay? He wants to work it out in our hearts as his dear children. We have to continue to show the love of Jesus Christ because like I said, we are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. This is our role in the earth realm. We're here as God's representative. So faith to love means that when it's not easy to love, we're going to choose to love, all right? Uh, the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. So even with our neighbors, uh, we have to choose to love. We have to be intentional uh, to love and show love. We have to uh, be purposeful in in loving and showing love. And, and it's so, so important, uh, praise the Lord, that we do this because God will be glorified. God will be glorified. So let's look at Galatians chapter 5, verse 6. And it says, for in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. All right, now let's look at this in the Amplified Bible. The Amplified Bible says, for if we are in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything. So religious laws and uh, religious activities uh, uh, that counts for nothing, all right? Uh, but only faith, listen to this, activated and energized and expressed and working through love, all right? So none of the religious laws mean anything, all right? We're not under the law, we're under grace, praise the Lord. But it says circumcision doesn't count for anything, nor uncircumcision, but what really matters and what only counts is faith that is activated and energized and expressed by the working of love. That's why we're dealing with on tonight uh, faith to love because it's going to take faith. And I want to talk to you about this because uh, you know you will be challenged in the days of head, days ahead to show love and to stay in love, even in difficult situations, okay? Uh, there's a time of testing, and in the days ahead, we, we God will challenge us to show love even when it may not be convenient. So uh, you have to understand that your faith is activated by love. Your faith doesn't even work unless love is there, okay? Uh, so your faith is activated by love, number one. Uh, hey, uh, Pastor Malone, bless you, my dear friend. Greetings to you and your family. So number one, faith is activated by, by love, all right? Number two, faith is energized by love. Number three, faith is expressed by love. Number four, faith works through love. So if we don't allow love to go first and be the pattern that we follow, our faith will not activate. Our faith will not work. Our faith will not energize. So we have to have faith to love because, hey, Sister Johnson, bless you and Elder Johnson. Good to see you on this evening. So we have to have faith to love in times where loving is very difficult. We have to have faith to love in times when uh, it, it's, it's really stressful. Um, it's not convenient. You got to go out of your way, but you got to understand faith works by love. It's activated, energized. It's, it's effective. It's made effective only when love is present. Okay, so that's our foundational scripture from Galatians chapter 5, verse 6. All right, now let's go over to uh, Mark's gospel, chapter 11. Mark's gospel, chapter 11, and let's look at verse 22. Turn in your Bible to Mark's gospel, chapter 11, verse 22. All right, 
uh, Jesus is speaking, uh, and Jesus answer and saith unto them, have faith in God. So I'm here to tell you, have faith in God. Don't let your faith be uh, dampened by all of the circumstances, this virus out there. Keep your faith strong that God's going to protect you and keep you. All right. Keep your faith strong that God's going to shield you and cover you. All right. Have faith in God. For verily, verily, I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed. And the mountain is anything opposing you, whether it is uh, uh, tensions or uh, racism or disagreements or uh, uh, whatever it is. Uh, whatever is opposing you, if that becomes your mountain, you can speak to the mountain and tell it to move. All right. We cannot allow mountains to get into our heart. Mountains of indifference. We can't allow that to get into our heart. We cannot allow mountains of uh, prejudice to get into our heart. We cannot allow mountains of strife to get into our heart because that will block our love. And if it blocks our love, then our faith will never be activated and then we can't get things done. All right. So uh, uh, we have to say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says will come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. Praise the Lord. All right, therefore, verse 24, therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. So Jesus said, have faith in God. It takes faith to tell the mountain in your life to move, but it takes having love before faith can be activated. Praise the Lord. So we're talking about faith to love. Because in times of uh, social injustice, in times of unfairness and inequality, in times of uh, devastation and murder and violence and senseless tragedies, we not only pray and we not only stand up vehemently against it and we speak against it, but we still show love. Why is that? Because our very fiber of, of, of God in us is love because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. So we have to stay in love to stay like God. All right, let the church say amen. This is as simple as it is because through difficult times, God will challenge us, uh, praise the Lord, to... Uh, love when loving is not convenient, all right? But don't let nothing get into your heart, praise the Lord. You, you, gotta, you gotta remember, if a mountain gets there, the mountain will block your love and it will block your faith and then you can't get the result you want, all right? So I'm just talking to you. I'm not gonna be long, praise the Lord, but I believe that those who listen now and those who listen in the future are going to be blessed by this teaching. Faith to love, all right? Faith to love, not just because of our current day, but faith to love family members that hurt you. Uh, faith to love uh, relatives and faith to love people in your community that may have hurt you or rubbed you wrong. Even people in the church that may have rubbed you wrong or hurt you, and you certainly didn't expect to get hurt in the church, but you have to have faith to even love them, all right? Hey, Ray Watson, bless you. Good to see you on on this evening. Bless you. Hey, Sister Jackson, bless you. Good to see you on this evening. All right, so uh, let's look at um, turn in your Bibles to Ephesians chapter 3, and I'm going to move on down the road with this, but uh, I'm laying some groundwork here. Ephesians chapter three. Let's go to Ephesians chapter three. Get your Bible, amen, and turn to Ephesians chapter three, and let's look at verse number 16. All right. The apostle Paul is writing to the church at Ephesus that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. God wants us to be strengthened with might, all right, according 
to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. And that's where we need God to work on us and build us up is in the inner man. Praise the Lord. That Christ may dwell in your hearts and we need him to dwell in our hearts. We need him to heal our hearts. We need him to work in our hearts. That's why when I was in prayer today asking God what he would have me say, he said faith, uh, faith to love. Simple as that. So I got up off my knees and that's what we're talking about. Faith to love. All right. Because it's going to take faith. Praise the Lord. There's, there's indifferences in the workplace. There's tensions flying around in the air. The, the, that's the elephant, the pink elephant in the room, all the tension going on. So it's going to really take faith uh, uh, to love and it's going to take faith uh, to uh, uh, make a paradigm shift and to let the pendulum swing back the other way. Praise the Lord. So that it would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, verse 17, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, all right, that ye being rooted and grounded in love. Now, that's the message. God wants you to be rooted and grounded in love, all right? rooted in love, grounded in love. Why? Because we're living in some dangerous times. We're living uh, in, in the reason I say dangerous times, because if we don't watch it, if we're not careful, us who are saved in Holy Ghost filled, our hearts and our soul can be wounded so badly by all of this until we begin to see people with indifference in our hearts. And you can't let that happen, all right? You have to identify it. You have to speak against it, and you got to work on it, all right? So uh, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love, all right? Love for your family, love for your neighbor, love for your community, love on your workplace, love even for the person that's a different color than you are that may have a different outlook on things, all right? And, and you just have to have love, all right? And it takes faith to love, praise the Lord. So be rooted and grounded in love, praise God. Rooted and grounded in love, all right? Emma Wittyberg, God bless you, or Emma Hamilton, bless you. Glad you're on, on tonight. Praise the Lord for you. Please share us with your page. All right, verse 18 says, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height. And verse 19, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. And we cannot be filled with the fullness of God, the fullness of God's blessings, the fullness of God's prosperity and abundance and increase, the fullness of God's strength and might and all of the blessings that he has for us without love, all right? Praise the Lord. So we have to understand this, amen. Uh, uh, to know the love of Christ, praise God. Uh, uh, to know the love of Christ, praise the Lord. All right. So I'm in Galatians chapter three, verse 16, verse 17, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, length and depth and height. Verse 19, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge that ye being might be filled with all the fullness of God now unto him. This is what it's going to take. All right, verse 20, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Now, what is that power? The power to love, all right? The power in us to love beyond ourselves. It takes faith to love, all right? I, I, I know I got the right teaching here. Uh, it takes faith to love. It takes faith. Some of you all under the sound of my voice have been dealing with some real family tensions. And uh, throughout this pandemic, it hadn't been easy on families and on anybody. 
all right? And and uh, you may have kind of gotten at each other a little bit, but you got to turn that thing around and love. And that's what God is telling you to do, love. So if it's in your family, if it's in your neighborhood, your neighbor may have rubbed you wrong. You got to love, all right? Uh, you may have had someone in your ministry or in your church family rub you wrong. You have to love. All right. You have to love your church family like your own biological family is just that tight. Praise the Lord. And, and so you can't let nothing come in between there. All right. Now unto him that is able to do. So all the things we need God to do in our lives do exceeding. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us, that power of faith, that power to love, all right? Hey, God bless you. Welcome to uh, Word on Wednesday with New Life Christian Center Church. God bless you. All right, so now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think according to the power to love that works in us, the power to love, because you can't have faith without love, because faith works by love. All right, I'm, let's go to uh, uh, Luke's gospel, and I'm not going to be long, but I need to give you uh, this example of faith uh, that is uh, fueled by love. Praise the Lord. Uh, faith to love. Turn to Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5. Let's look at this wonderful story, a very familiar story, and uh, let's look at verse number 18. Praise the Lord. Uh, well, let's look at verse 17. Luke chapter 5, verse 17. Very familiar story, beautiful story, and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching, this is Jesus, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. All right, verse 18. And behold, men brought in a bed, a man which was taken with a palsy. So he was sick with the palsy. He was paralyzed, and they sought means to bring him in. All right, and to lay him before Jesus. So he was trying, they were trying to get their friend healed. All right. And when they could not find this verse 19, when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went up on the housetop and led him down through the tiling with with uh, with his couch in the midst before Jesus. Now, another translation says they tore off the roof. So not only did his friends uh, pull him up on the roof, which was a mighty sight to see but they began to tear the roof off, all right? We got to pull each other up, all right? Listen to me good. We got to pull each other up. We got to pull each other up out of the trouble. And when uh, we can't get to where we need to get to, we got to tear off that roof. If it takes tearing off the roof of racism, tear it off. If it takes tearing off the roof of jealousy, tear it off. If it takes tearing off the roof of envy and covetousness, tear it off. If it takes uh, 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 tearing off the roof of indifference and, and disagreement, tear it off. Because we got to get to Jesus, praise the Lord. So here they are, a man in trouble, all right? Didn't say what color he was, what his background was, where he was from, didn't say nothing. Uh, uh, it just said he was sick. He had the palsy and he had some friends that had love in their heart. All right. But they had faith. All right. Faith to love. They had love in their heart first, which fueled and activated their faith. Praise the Lord and their desire to help their friend. All right. So they got this man to Jesus. They couldn't find a way to get him in. So they went up on the roof, tore the roof up. All right, so look at verse 20. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto them, man, thy sins are forgiven thee. All right, looking down at verse 25, and immediately he rose up before them and took up that whereon he lay and departed to his own house, glorifying God. 
Praise the Lord. Uh, we we must lift this. Amen, Sister Hamilton. Yes, we must lift each other up in love. Amen. Praise the Lord. Superintendent Larry Ford, bless you, man of God. Uh, I'm enjoying the, the comments. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, so, so we see here that their uh, uh, act of faith in love glorified God. And I'm here to tell you, men and women of God, if you just show love, if you activate your faith to love in these difficult times to love, hey, Sister Donna, bless you and your family. Welcome. If you just activate your faith in love during these difficult times in love, God will be glorified. That was not an easy thing for these men to pull their friend up on the housetop when they couldn't get him to Jesus, but they pulled him up. They pulled him up on the roof. They tore the roof off, all right? They removed the obstacle. They removed the barrier, all right? We got to remove the barriers. We got to remove the barriers of a lack of love, all right? We're the people of God, and we're here in this world to make a difference, praise the Lord. So they, they lower this man down. He's healed. He, God is glorified. This is what God wants us to do for one another, amen? Have faith to love, all right? Have faith to love again, praise the name of the Lord, all right? So God wants us to uh, walk in love, have faith to love, glorify God because faith works by love, all right? Now, uh, when we talk about being rooted and grounded in love, praise the Lord, we got to be love of God minded, praise the Lord. And so when we look at Ephesians 3 and 20, which we just did, uh, one question says, why does this power not prevail more? All right, because love is absent. Praise God. Ephesians 3 and 20, we just went over it. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think according to the what? Power that works in us. What is the power? The power to love. All right. So uh, uh, why doesn't this power work more? Well, it's not love is absent. All right. We got to make sure we turn that paradigm. We got to turn that thing around. Love cannot be absent, people of God. Love can't be absent no matter where we go. Like I said on Sunday, we're not responsible for what people do to us. We're responsible for what we do to them. All right. Come on. Y'all say amen now. Praise the Lord. Now, uh, he cannot allow this power to work in malice, all right? So I'm still kind of at Ephesians 3 and 20 uh, because in malice, that power does not work. So let's look at Ephesians 4 and 30. This is very important. Go to Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 30, all right? And I'm almost through. I'm enjoying the fellowship, enjoying the Bible study. God bless you all that are watching. And we have uh, uh, different pages that are on. So I hope I see everybody. But if I don't see you and acknowledge you, it, it's not on purpose. Praise the Lord. Hey, Sister Cheryl Neal, God bless you. Uh, please like and share us with your page. Welcome to Word on Wednesday with New Life Christian Center Church. God bless you. All right. From Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30. And uh, let's look at this. It said, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Now, here it is. Let all bitterness, check it, wrath, check it, anger, clamor, evil speaking, be put far away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, all right, forgiving one another even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you, all right? So this is very, very important. This is how we become rooted and grounded in love. And Ephesians 3 and 20, this power will work for us, praise the Lord, when it works by love, praise God. But it cannot work in words of malice or feelings of bitterness. So you can't let that be in your heart, people of God, all right? I'm, I'm here to keep you free, because if you keep your heart free of encumbrances, you can get things done. Praise the Lord. All right. Now, being filled with the fullness of God 
is a part of having the love of God and the faith of God working mightily in our life. Let's look at Ephesians chapter one. Let's look at Ephesians or Ephesians chapter five, verse one and two. All right. So flip over to Ephesians chapter five, verse one and two. All right. It says, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Okay. And walk in love. We're talking about faith to love with everything going on in our country, with everything going on around this senseless murder and this senseless violence, with everything going on, we have to have faith to love. And, and that's what God put on my heart to share with you on today was faith to love, because it's going to take faith for you to step out and, and share a kind word, do a kind act and go out of your way to be intentional to show love, but God's going to be glorified. That's why I shared the story with you of the friends that pulled their sick friend up on the roof, uh, praise the Lord, and tore off the roof, lowered him down to Jesus because God was glorified in the faith of their friend, of his friends, praise the Lord, but their faith was activated by love. Everything God has for your assignment and for you in your community, you and your family, it will all be activated by love. All right. Praise the Lord. So, uh, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us. Verse two, and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. Praise the Lord. All right. So being filled with the fullness of God is God's faith working in us and God's love working down on the inside of us. Praise the Lord. So when we walk, we want to walk as Jesus walked. Praise the Lord. When we love, we want to lo love as Jesus loved. When we speak, we want to speak as Jesus spoke. Praise the Lord. And uh, then uh, we will truly, that will be the real reality, praise the Lord, of the Holy Spirit taking what we do and glorifying God by it. Let's look at John 14 and 12. Turn to John's gospel, uh, chapter 14 and verse 12. And I'm almost through. All right, John's gospel. Let's look at chapter 14 and verse 12. Praise the Lord. All right, here's Jesus speaking. He says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he also do. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. So to do the greater works through the Holy Ghost, we're going to have to allow faith to uh, uh, be active in our life by love, faith to love. All right, we cannot do greater works that Jesus spoke about unless we have faith to love. Praise the Lord. Now we know all of this love, it, it, it works by, uh, uh, all of this faith works by love. All right, I'm at my 30 minute time frame and uh, uh, I got just a few more minutes. I, I, I got to get out of here, but I I got just a few more minutes. Don't want to hold you long, but I'm glad you're on. Praise the Lord. Hey, Sister Robin Watson, God bless you. Good to see you on this evening. All right. Praise the Lord for you and stay encouraged. Praise God. Praise God. All right. So when we look at this, amen, uh, greater works. We can't do the greater works without the love of God emanating and working and being activated in us on a continuous basis. Praise the Lord. Now, without faith, it's impossible to please God. So uh, he that cometh to God, this is Hebrews 11 and 6, he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them who is diligently, who diligently seeks him. All right. So God loves faith. All right. Faith honors God and God honors your faith. Praise the Lord. Now, my last scripture is there's no fear in love. All right. Uh, uh, not only will we do greater works in love and not only does God want us to be rooted and grounded in love, but perfect love 
cast out all fear. You don't have to have fear of anything or anybody when you operate your life in love. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. All right. I've heard people say, all right, uh, uh, because of the color of their skin, they're in fear. No, no. You operate in love. Praise God. And, and love has no fear. Praise the, praise the Lord. So let's look at 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4. And uh, let's look at verse number 15. 1 John chapter 4, verse 15. This is, this is a beautiful scriptorial passage uh, because uh, uh, it will encourage you. Praise the Lord. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him and he in God. All right, verse 16. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. So in the midst of it, we know and we believe the love. All right. Hey, Sister Cheryl Neal, glad you're on. Praise the Lord for you. All right. We have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. All right. So when we dwell in love, we dwell in God and God dwells in us. So we have no excuse not to love. Now we stand up against wrong and we speak against injustice and we speak against racial uh, uh, injustices. All right. But we still must love. We must speak with love, act with love, carry ourselves with love. What is that going to do? It's going to get you blessed mightily, praise the Lord, because faith works by love, all right? So when you need God to get something done for you, and it takes faith to do it, but love is present because you're not letting all the tensions in our country and all the uh, bad news you see on television diminish your love. You're going to make a choice to stay in love. All right. So we have known and believed the love. Verse 16. We're in first John 4, 16. We have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love. So you got to remember people of God. God is love. Hey, brother Michael Spencer. Welcome to Word on Wednesday with New Life Christian Center Church. Uh, please like and share us with your page. Praise the Lord. God is love. We're at 1 John chapter 4, verse 16. God is love, and he that dwelleth in God dwelleth in, he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Verse 17, herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear, verse 18, in love. This is my point, all right? Hear it well. There is no fear in love, all right? Come on, y'all, check it, check it. No fear in love. You don't gotta worry about being in fear. You don't want to have to worry about, no, you just carry yourself in love, all right? And, and, and God's gonna take care of the rest, praise the Lord. There's no fear in love. But perfect love casts out fear because fear hath torment. Fear will make you say, I can't go out the house because something's going to happen. No, the devil is a liar. Uh, you, 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 fear has torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. All right, so no fear. We love him because he first loved us. Praise the Lord. Verse 19. So that's all I have for you tonight. And uh, uh, the title was Faith to Love. Faith to Love. Faith to Love Your Family. Uh, faith to Love in Difficult Situations. Uh, faith to Love uh, in Your Neighborhood, Your Community, Where There May Be Some Difficult Situations. Faith to Love. Turn it around in your family. Uh, husbands, turn it around for your wives. Wives, turn it around for your husbands. Uh, 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 parents, turn it around for your children. Faith to love, all right? Even in uh, uh, circumstances that are difficult, faith to love, all right? And uh, your community, your workplace, uh, every, I, I know it's not very popular what I'm talking about, but this is what God gave me in prayer to say to you tonight, all right? Faith to love. 
It, it, your love is the very activator of your faith. Your love is the very activator, all right, uh, of, of you getting to God and getting done what you need in your life. Praise the Lord. So let's stay in faith and let's stay in love, all right? Uh, uh, faith to love. In these bad times, uh, times of coronavirus, sickness, uh, death, tragedy, despair, uh, uh, rioting, uh, social injustice, what you got to do is stay in love and say, God, give me the faith to love. And, and and help my unbelief. If, if, if my faith is a little low, help me where I'm weak and help my unbelief. He'll do just that. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this lesson on tonight. Thank you for these that are watching and those who will watch in the next few days. God, we thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the epitome of love and gave his life freely for us so we could be saved, redeemed back to you and we could be justified. Thank you, God, for the Lord Jesus and the love he showed us. Let us show love in our communities, our neighborhoods, and even in these very, very difficult times. You gave me to say to your people that we have to have faith to love, faith to keep love going, even when love is not, uh, uh, is not uh, very, very popular, uh, well, we're going to have faith to love, God, because you're going to help us. We thank you for strength, and we thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost working mightily in our hearts. And God, we thank you for the right choice to show love. We choose faith to love, and God, we have faith, and we thank you for it. God, we thank you for working things out in our communities, our neighborhoods. We thank you for working things out in our nation. Uh, God, we thank you for working things out, change and, and, and uh, new policy and new legislation and, and real change. We thank you that, that it, it starts with us in our hearts toward one another. And as we uh, change the fabric uh, of injustice by love and, and, and we change the terrain by our love for one another, you will be glorified and we know there are great things in store. Bless this word, God, in the name of Jesus. Let the people like and share it. Let them share it and share it because everybody needs to know uh, that we must have faith to love. We can love again, but it's gonna take faith. Thank you, Lord, for the message. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, may the Lord bless you. Appreciate you coming on on this evening. Uh, New Life Christian Center Church, you're a great church, great people. Uh, don't forget to honor the Lord in your finances, and the Lord will bless you. May the Lord bless you, people of God. You be strengthened and stay encouraged in the Lord. Whatever you do, make sure you stay in love. All right, God bless you. We'll, we'll see you next time.